David Benavides versus Demetrius Andrade. Listen, I heard these two are about to fight, man. I don't know how official it is because there is a lot of pump faking going on in professional boxing these days, but I've heard it more than once. Demetrius Andrade, David Benavides, man, both of them unbeaten champions, you know, technically, when I think about who has the more stopping power to their singular punts, I, I lean towards Demetrius Andrade, but who throws better combinations, I lean towards David Benavides. It's a funny fight, you know, because this is a fight where both of the guys are talented. They have different skill sets, different talents. They're both, to me, a good size for the weight. And they're really offensive. You know, when it comes to mobility, I want to lean a little bit towards Demetrius Andrade. But when it comes to ferociousness and tenacity, I have to lean towards David Benavidez. Um, you know, this is a really interesting fight. You know, I personally believe that this is a pay-per-view worthy fight. And if they do set it up, you know, it would be a barn burner. You know, I don't see how this fight goes the distance because... Um, Demetrius Andrade, I believe last two to three opponents, he stopped them, if I'm not mistaken. And David Benavidez is, a, you know, he's a vicious animal as soon as the bell rings. He's going to come in there. He's going to bring that heat. He's going to try to finish whoever he fights. I love how David Benavidez fights. He's one of my uh, personal fan favorites. But I have to be honest, when it comes to mobility, I feel like Demetrius Andrade has more mobility than him. But I, I also feel like because David Benavidez is long and lanky, um, he, he he actually the his fighting style plays into the way he is, his long lankiness. You know, he 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 uses his length sometimes to keep his opponent away. Then when he gets them um, caught with a shot or when he catches them, he closes the distance with like rapid fire hooks. Rapid fire uppercuts, you know, I love the way David Benavidez throws those combinations. Um, when he throws them, he, he has very, very, very bad intentions. This is a funny fight to me still, though, because uh, Demetrius Andrade is no pushover. You know, the only thing that I don't like um, about Demetrius Andrade is it seems like it was a couple fights that he kind of was getting a little bit sloppy the way he was throwing shots and just rolling it, it, it to me seemed a little bit uh predictable uh, another fighter of a higher caliber i felt like would have been able to catch on to what andre was doing and countered him when he kept you know throwing his shot and then trying to roll to the outside you know because to me he was getting a little bit predictable in doing it but his opponent just wasn't um athletic enough to to capitalize on it, in my opinion um david benavidez is a whole different game though because i don't think you know that you'd want to risk david benavidez connecting with you flushly because he has that uh that funny power to where when he hits guys you can see you know they get dazed but it's like they didn't expect that level of power from him see people have to realize those tall lanky guys they're strong you know a tall lanky guy for the most part usually is stronger than a shorter fighter so see, they should be able to to do a lot of damage you know this fight is a very tricky fight but in my personal opinion i would lean a little bit towards david benavidez man i think he might take it just my opinion